good morning to all my friends and family. Que zito, zito eleftheria, zito ethnos. And I'd never ever thought that I'd come to this day, 25th of March, 2021, which is the 200th anniversary of Greek Independence Day. Welcome to all my friends and family to Jim's 5am club on this magnificent day, an awesome day in history, a day that will be celebrated by Greeks throughout the world where our heart will beat as one and our breath will be as one as well, one with our soul and one with our brothers and sisters throughout the world. Ah, who would have ever thought 200 years, what a wonderful feat. So what I'd like to do is uh, I'll head off and we'll do a bit of a walk and talk. I'm going to do another book summary today and I think that today's book summary is apt and it's entitled Reinvent Yourself by James Al Tucker. James Al Tucker has a wonderful book entitled Reinvent, it, Re Reinvent Yourself and we'll see what we can take from this on this wonderful, wonderful day. So this book is all about a template on how to adjust your life to a world that is characterized by constant and never ending change. And I, I guess Greece is a fine example of uh, these learnings, given that it is a country that has survived many, many battles throughout the history of mankind and has maintained, maintained its character, maintained its language, maintained its culture. Not only has it maintained it, but it has gifted it to the rest of humanity uh, in the form of uh, the arts, sciences, um, grammar, theatre, um, language, thought, religion. Many people are unaware that uh, the New Testament was written in Greek, was captured and written in Greek. So, uh, a very, very big thank you to my Greek ancestors and I guess everybody who lives in the world today, uh, basically living in a world that is an expression of Greek thought, Greek freedom, Greek democracy, and uh, it's something that uh, it's one of the few cultures that actually dramatically changed the entire world. So what can we learn here from this book, Reinvent Yourself? So uh, the author here says that the path towards a meaningful and successful career has changed a lot over the, uh, the past decade or two. And uh, I've got to tell you, um, having worked 35 years in corporate Australia, I can attest to the fact that many things have changed. Because the author says that today, more so than any other time in the history of mankind, there is no guarantee that you will rise through the ranks. So regardless of how hard your, your work, how smart you work, how good you are at your work, there's no longer a guarantee that when you start working that you'll be rewarded for all of your efforts and that you'll continue to grow and develop 
within your uh, corporate sphere and uh, and go from say uh, office boy or office girl to chairman of the board um, a very powerful note at a very very powerful point and it's something that everybody just needs to appreciate and understand so the bottom line or the call to action from this author is that we all need to carve out our own path our own unique path in a, uh, a world characterized by constant change in an ever-changing world a world that changes dramatically uh, from day to day from year to year from moment to moment so uh, a lesson a powerful lesson that we need to be ready for change to embrace change and to make the most of change as opposed to letting change uh, impact us and uh, disempower us let's use change to leverage us and to make things better just so you're aware tonight from 8 p.m. till midnight the sails of the Opera House will be lit up with the flag of Greece that's the first time ever and it's to celebrate the uh, bicentenary of uh, independence revolution where Greece freed itself from 400 400 years of Ottoman rule it marks a, 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 a marks a time where the Greeks after 400 years 400 years which is represents many generations many generations um, of Greeks where they uh, decided enough was enough and they wanted to protect their language protect their culture which they held authentically and unaltered for 400 years and they uh, decided that there comes a point in every every culture in every uh, in every um, nation where a decision needs to be made that freedom is more important than anything else freedom of expression um, sovereignty over your own lands over your own decisions over your own people and to uh, basically decide to be the, the masters of your own destiny with God's help of course and the Greeks were able to do that 400 years ago one of the very few countries that was able to uh, free itself from the uh, Ottoman uh, yoke and to uh, be the wonderful country and the wonderful contributor to the world as how they are today so what is the author telling us here in this book the author here is telling us that uh, one thing that we should try and do is to pick a passion from our childhood and to work on it every day I was surprised to learn that Picasso who uh, who's a famed artist produced over 50,000 pieces over his lifetime just continued day by day painting expressing himself doing the things that he loved Stephen King the author has authored over a hundred a hundred books just continues to do what what he loves and it just shows that uh, he's a prolific prolific writer Jimi Hendrix had written pieces or contributed to pieces for over 70 albums and he died at 27 could you imagine if he kept on living how much music he would have been able to produce and to uh, to uh, contribute so it just goes to show that you need to pick something that you're really good at 
and uh, just stick to it and continue um, producing, adding, creating. And the author reminds us here that don't worry, you'll learn as you go. You'll figure it out along the way. So don't be too much of a perfectionist and wonder how you're going to do it. Just focus on, uh, on, um, on, on creating, on uh, just generating as much content as possible and you'll find your way. Just like with me here with Jim's 5am club, who would have thought that I'd be up to 800 vlogs in less than a year. But what happens is along the way you generate energy, you generate creativity and you just keep on going and the more you do the more you're capable of doing because you build momentum, you build a head of steam which just uh, feeds upon itself. And uh, the author here talks about the importance of learning how to channel your energies into your work and one of the greatest energies that you can channel and you see this a lot in terms of music, um, songwriters, composers, is to channel your pain into your pleasure. Um, you can channel your pain, your disappointments, your negative emotions into your work in, in a positive and productive way. So even if people are suffering, even if they've got challenges in their life, one thing that uh, we can all do and we can help people to re refocus is to let them know that that energy, that experience can be channeled in a, in a wonderful way. And the Greeks, God bless them, over the uh, thousands of years of their uh, growth and development and cultural exchange had many, many um, challenging times, but uh, they were able to, ch to, to channel their pain, their suffering into something that was bigger and better and more enduring and sustainable. Because the author here reminds us that no one has a life that is free from pain and suffering. And uh, what makes pain and suffering worth enduring is when you can take it and you can shape it and you can pass it on to other generations or pass on the learnings to other generations and to help others around you forge a better, a better life because by doing that it makes the pain and suffering all worthwhile and not a waste a waste of time. And the last point that the author makes, which I absolutely love, this is probably the, the key points from this book, is that we need to make growth-based decisions, not fear-based decisions. And the reason why many family businesses fail over time <coughs> is because there's a misalignment of values. And the author here says something which is really, really interesting. That if you've got a family business and you're passing it on to your children, what you must do is you must sell the business to your children. The people who take over the business must buy the business from the previous generation because only by buying the business will they take or will they truly take ownership in the author's words. And by taking ownership, then and only then will they take that business and reshape it in their own image and grow it and hopefully make it as successful as what uh, the people before them made it. So uh, one of the important questions that we need to ask ourselves at different junctures in our lives is that we need to ask ourselves now, are we making a decision based on fear or growth? Because we often make choices out of fear, not in order to get what we want, but to uh, make sure that we uh, don't 
get what we don't want. So the key in life, according to the author here, is to understand and unmask our fears and base our key decisions on growth and development. Which brings me to the end of this wonderful book summary on this glorious morning. It's going to be a cracker of a day and tonight there'll be hopefully thousands of Greeks down here where I am here at the uh, International Passenger Terminal looking across at the sails of the Opera House and they'll be magnificently portraying and expressing the Greek flag. So wherever you are, wherever you are in Sydney, make a point to come down here to uh, Sydney Harbour to Circular Quay from 8 till midnight and be part of this momentous occasion where we can sing, we can dance and we can breathe and and uh, and breathe and, and, and act as one with the diaspora and the Greeks from all over the world can proudly remember this momentous day, Greek Independence Day, the 200th anniversary of Greece. And I've got my friend Jason coming here. Morning, Jace. How you going, Hello. buddy? Happy Greek Independence Day. So be proud and make the most of this awesome day. So to my friends and family, um, stay connected, stay relevant, and let's make the most of this magical day. Um, and I'll finish off with a positive affirmation. I'm alive, I'm well, and I feel absolutely great. And uh, I look forward to chatting to you again later on in the morning where we can go through and talk about another book summary and to uh, enjoy this unique, unique day in the history of Australia and the history of Greece. Yasas, Filakia from Jim's 5am Club. Que zito, zito eleftheria, zito ethnos, que zito to zito. Yasas and bye for now.